Okay, Iron Helm. This is episode two. I'm playing with uh, Throne of Embers, which is a level two adventure. It says, rumors are afloat of majestic treasures deep within the mines of Talora. But those same tales tell of a monstrous creature far below the surface, made of fire itself. So I've removed the card shown and put in the stuff from this adventure. And just so you know, I've shuffled in the enemies fully, but I really want to experience the plot and the loots if I can. So I've shuffled four, the four loot from this with the, with the top four loot of this deck and the three plots from this with the top three plots of this, just because I really want to experience some of it. I'm also playing with the Lonely Troll Inn. Uh, just so I can have a henchman, and I've chosen Idis. I have to pay every level, I have to give her another gold to keep her around. But she adds one to damage and one to subtracts one from enemies, so that's really good. She also searches for food at campsites. The Lonely Troll Inn is in the Iron Chest expansion. And so is this. I'm using Random Encounters, uh, level two which is going to be a little hard. And I'm using the second dungeon deck, uh, the Howling Abyss. All right. From the adventure pack, I'm playing Grimly. He's super cool. He can carry a lot of stuff, and he comes with two food. Uh, he comes with a staff, which adds two to attack to undead. Uh, but you have to reroll sixes. The flask, which gains two health, and you can refill it at campsites. The dash skill. Um, it's a little risky, but I can skip dungeon cards. Alright, let's go. Skirmish, right off the bat. Oh. You know what? I'm going to play a little bit more risky this time. I'm going to say no skirmish. Nice, and it paid off. This chest must have been forgotten to time. It's brimming with loot. So I can draw a loot card or a potion card. And a potion card, or I can gain gold and a ration. Okay. Ooh. Wow, that's really good. I already have lots of gold and or a lot of rations. I should have started with uh, four gold, and then I spent two to hire Ida, so I should have two gold there. And following this, I should get a loot and a potion. Grascal Sting. Once per dungeon level, you may fire an arrow, dealing d6 damage before taking initial damage. Um, this is tough. I can definitely carry it for now, but I don't know if I'm going to equip it as my main weapon. And then a potion. Ice Shard, nice. Uh, you know what, I'm not 100% sure if I shuffled this from last time. It's okay though, I'll take the Ice Shard and shuffle the rest. Well that was nice. Savage Encounter. Hmm, I'm gonna skip again. Campsite, nice. So, I just find some food. And here we go. I can cook. Uh, spend a ration to gain energy. I don't really need anything right now. I don't need any of this. Uh, but I'll just gain a ration and more gold. I am brimming with food here. Let's see if I'm... If my luck continues. Arrow trap. Hmm. Well, poison is rough. Maybe I'll try to skip it. Wow, I am so lucky right out of the gate. Okay. Deep in the dungeon seems like a strange place to set up a shop. Okay, I can buy and sell... I kind of want all my items. I guess I could sell the bow. 
Oh, that's only one gold each? Holy. Oh, well, let's see what he has. So he has uh, three loot and two potion. Cursed horn. Olam's sh shelter. Field guide. Health potion. Antidote. Wow. Can I buy all of these? I mean, any as, as many as I want? Yeah, I guess as long as I have money, I can. And I can even swap. Hmm. Potions are amazing. I kind of want that. This is an antidote for poison. adjust this slightly and there we go hmm cursed horn you can may not drop it or sell it uh well i don't want this um no thanks sir this doesn't look like a it's a shield it's called a shelter hmm subtract one from initial and counter strikes subtract an additional one from enemies weak to ice Wow. And I can use that. I can't use that with my weapon because it uses two hands. Gain okay, additional ration whenever you enter the mushroom grove. Hmm. Well, I think I'll take these two. Because potions are really, really helpful. I'm still within my encumbrance limit of nine. Nope, nope. Uh, no. Ambush, yeah. I usually take an ambush if it's first, because I get an advantage against the enemy. Plus three to my first attack, ignore initial damage. Wolf. All right. He has a health of three, plus the dungeon level, so he's at four. I get to make the first hit, because I ambushed. Um... I could gamble and just try for one. But uh, six re-rolls, so maybe I should go with two. Oh, wow. Okay. Six is, has to re-roll. Okay. Well, I defeat him. The wolf is dead. One loot means I take either a loot card or a gold. I'll go for the gold because... I'd like to have a little extra for paying her. All right. Another ambush. Yep. It just seems worth it. Goblin. I can buy him off. No, thanks. I'll defeat him. Uh, again, he doesn't attack on initial because I ambushed, so his total level is hit points is three. Probably don't need to do this. Let's see if I can do it in one shot with a single energy. Oof. Okay, I did one. So his attack is two dice, uh, and you subtract them and add one hit. That's a total of three. Oof. I'll spend another energy. Come on, I gotta just get a two or more. There we go. Okay, he's defeated. I will take uh, a loot. No, I'll take a gold.
right on. Okay. Skirmish or skip? Mm, I mean, it could be a savage. I haven't, I've only seen one and I think there's two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it. A clearing. Okay. Amazing. The hid in. You smell roasting meat and hear sounds of laughter and clanking dishes. Wait, this is exactly what I got last game. Ah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, gambling is fun, but I'm still going to sit and eat here. Uh, one gold. I gain two health. One, two. One energy. Another ambush. Yeah, I'll take that one too. Another wolf. I can throw a ration at him, but I feel like between the skill upgrades, I can look at my skill upgrades. I can just toss a ration at him. Might be worth it. Oh, I could use the archery skill. Hmm. I kind of like this archery skill. Hmm. I'm going to fight him. I'm not going to throw the ration at him. Okay. So again, he does no initial damage. So. Should I spend one energy or two? I'll spend two. I'm not very risky. Six. Good. All right, so I can trade these three in for an agility skill. And I'll take archery. Switch to using my bow. And I get to reroll results of one. This bow says once per dungeon level, I can uh, deal d6 before taking initial damage, which is super cool. Mushroom Grove. I don't really care about rations. Maybe I should take the second card. Let's try it. The Mystical Fountain. Okay, let's see what happens. Two. You immediately regret. Gain a poison. All right, well, at least I have an antidote, so this is going to start adding up. Um, the poison. What happens at the, it's, I think it's, the poison increases at the end of the level. For every two poison you have, you gain one. Okay. That is fun. All right, the final room. Uh, savage. Uh, skip. I'll take the second one. It's a labyrinth. You cannot seem to find your way out. Discard two rations. Lose three health for each ration you cannot discard and then gain a potion. See, I, that's why I love the second dungeon deck, because you get stuff even if you lost stuff. It's so cool. Oh. I feel like, well, I'll hold on to it for now. I now have two antidotes. That's the end of level one. I have to feed myself, pay off my henchmen, and 
we get a random encounter. Oh, we have a plot first. Hang on. Let's do a plot. Column of fire. Before stands a column of fire that reaches up into the ceiling of the cave. To your surprise, it begins to speak to you. I am hungry for flesh and bone. Fill me up and reward your own. Feed the fire. Hmm. I can't do it because I don't have an unspent enemy card. That I've used them all for skills. Hmm. I'm going to ignore it. Pretend you heard nothing. We have three eyeballs. The random encounter is the dice. Four. Treasure. Gain a random loot card. Nice. Okay. Dagger. You must reroll dire results of six when you use the dagger's primary. Let me check my encumbrance level. Nine, I'm maxed out. Uh, hopefully I get to a merchant so I can sell it instead of having to drop it. Okay, level two. Another ambush. Okay, right out the gate. I'm going to take it. You might have detected a theme. I always take the ambush. <laughs> I love the fact that I can fight something with a chance to not get hit at all. Okay, we have an undead warrior. Uh, do you know if I'm allowed to switch weapon when I... after I view the, the enemy? I don't know. Because I would love to use my staff instead. I'm going to check. There must be something about where you put your weapons, um, like your primary weapon, and switching it out. combat sequence having a backup weapon blah 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 There's, I can't find anything. How about the appendix? You may switch out equipment in between turns, but not during the process of resolving a card. Oh, you can't even switch after you reveal the dungeon card. Whoa. Okay. I would have definitely switched to this if I knew I could use it. If I knew I was facing undead, but I guess that makes sense. Um, I would argue that if, if I'm ambushing it, thematically it makes sense that I could switch, but I'm going with the rules, not with my feelings as much as... Okay, so anyway, let's set his... Uh, he's at eight, uh, 7, because we're dungeon level 2. And I can reroll ones. Here we go. I'll use uh, two energy 
I should be able to achieve a seven. Yeah, easy. I keep forgetting to add Idis is plus one, but anyway, there, I'll do that from now on. I defeated him. Uh, one loot, and I'll take the coin. Altar. Blessing. Mm. I could use energy too. I'm going to go for a blessing. Is it? It's good long-term thinking. Blessing up there. All right. You know what? I'm going to... Oh, I don't have... I'm not missing two health yet. Okay, here we go. I'm using my bow. Skirmish or skip? Am I going to take a risk? I know there's some savages in here. Okay, lucky. Plot the old goblin. In the clearing, you spy an old goblin woman attempting to lower a bucket down into a well. She's dressed like a shaman, but appears to be struggling to operate the well. Assist the old goblin or rob? Hmm... It costs two on the morality track to rob her. I honestly don't think I need to rob the goblin. So I move, I gain a random potion, I lose two energy. It's gonna be dangerous, isn't it? I wanna just do it. Two on a morality track, and I got an ice shard. I now have actually too many items, so I'm going to drink the antidote and remove the poison. Could use some energy. Wow. All right. Arrow trap, more poisons. I don't like that. I think the second card. Merchants, all right. Uh, you know what? Let's see what he has for sale. I've got the spark bomb, health potion, Alum Slayer. Attack rolls of five or six each deal three additional damage to enemies weak to fire. Huh. That's really cool. But I like, can't afford that. Armor, subtract two from initial and counter strikes. Plus three to the sum of your attack roll versus undead enemies. Wow, these are all really good. That's even better than my staff. Um, if I decided to switch out from my bow, then I could do this. Oh, never mind. I can't afford, afford it no matter what I do. I'd have to sell everything to afford it. I think I'll swap my ice for a spark. Let's do a swap. It's probably worth buying the health potion. Uh, I'm carrying too much stuff. Okay. These are nice. Uh, it looks like I'm selling this.
for one money. Okay. In that case, I could... Oh, yeah, I'm just over-encumbered now. Okay. Boom. Hmm. I could probably use... Mushroom? Hopefully it's not poisonous, but that's okay. If it is... Oh. I totally gained a poison. Okay, here we go. Boom. Ambush. Uh, considering I haven't seen any savage, I'm going to go for it. Undead archer. Uh, I'm not worried about its power because I don't have initial damage. Oh, I forgot to take a coin when I defeated Undead Warrior. There's a coin symbol on that. Oops, my bad. Undead Archer. Six. I need to spend two energy. There's no way I'm going to roll a six. I guess I can also use a potion. But what's there? Maybe I should be working towards a dagger skill. Oh, that's only if it's in your primary hand. Maybe I should just carry that dagger. Whatever. I can reroll once, but I feel like. Okay, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to spend one energy. I have Idis, which adds plus one to my attack. I get to reroll ones. Because um, my archery skill. My total is three with Idis. He's down to three. Now his move. Or its move, I guess. 4 minus 2 is 2, add 2, that's 4, and subtract 1 for Idis is 3. And I think I'll just go ahead and drink Potion and bring 4 health back, because I may as well unencumber myself, and I get to take another hit, I'm going to do another 1 energy. I get to reroll once with my bow. Five. He's dead. I get a coin and a loot. Ice hack. You may discard this card to deal 3d6 damage. Oof, nice. It would replace my my bow if I carry it. I'm at nine encumbrance, so that's all right for now. Treasure. It's just a cold. Just a gold. But it's nothing bad. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Uh-oh. Oh. I forgot I don't have any energy. I'm going to be I'm going to be in big trouble. Draw four enemy cards and discard three with the least health. And I have to add dungeon level plus three. So I'm adding five. One, two, three, four. Okay, these guys have the most health. Flying snakes, so I discard the zombies. Um, they're identical. So I'm fighting a flying snake, plus five is eight. That's rough. Once per dungeon level, I may fire an arrow dealing d6 damage before taking initial damage. I'm going to activate this now for, my, for this level. And just do two. All right. I can 
try to avoid this dungeon card if I want, if I'm worried about it. But he's not extremely strong. So I'm just going to let him attack me. Uh, you probably can't see that. All right, six and two. So he deals four, five. Minus one because of Ias. Two, three, four. And I think I'll just go ahead and drink up my potion. Right away. Um, I only have one energy left. If I discard my ice shard, deals 2d6 plus 5. Yep, that kills him. Okay. Whew. I'm going to trade these in for a skill, I think. Let's see. Dodge. One less poison from Arrow Trap. I guess that's pretty good. Campsite. I'll take the campsite. I just gives me some food, and then I can. Let's see. Spend a ration to gain three energy. That's exactly what I want to do. That's better. Should I take the ambush? Yeah, probably. All right, final card is an ambush. And we are fighting a skinkling. Jeez. He also poisons me, okay. There's only three hit points, so I'm gonna spend one energy. Nice. Bam. I gain a coin and a loot. I could use the shield. Subtract one from both initial damage and counter strikes. But I kind of like my bow. Let's see. Let's see if I can carry all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I'm a little bit over encumbered if I carry all this. Uh, I drop the dagger. Equip ice hack and shield. Put this to the side. Boom. All right. So that's the end of that level. Let's do a plot. Do I do plot first or feed first? Food first. Feed, poison, level, plot. And I have to pay her. I think I have to do this and then a plot, so that's a trap. Six, random encounter. Oh, no, six, uh, gain zero poison. Oh, okay, I get it. So specifically a trap and then the six is in here, okay. So far, so good. Let's do a plot. The Traveler. A cloaked figure approaches you. You place your hand on your weapon, fearing conflict. However, the old man reveals himself as a cleric, makes a gesture of peace. He places his hand on your shoulder and whispers, Gain either health or energy equal to your position on the morality track. Energy, please. That's a two. Okay. Mash 
these together. All right, we're on level three. I have eight eyeballs. So, let's see what happens. The mystical fountain. It could be good, um, especially if I get a six. All right, I got a four. And that is three health, but I don't need three health because I'm full, because I drank my potion like a dummy. Well, at least it unencumbered me. Oh well. The labyrinth. Oh, I don't have ration, Ooh, that's bad. Maybe I'll take the second card. Oh, he catches me by surprise. Oh no, adds the dungeon level to their initial damage and then plus five to their health as well. So, Lizard Kin. Oh, he's special to this deck. Okay. Oh my word. Three, adding eight to this. So eight and six is 14. So I'll put 12 and two. And his initial damage is adding three. This is very bad. Okay, initial damage. Two plus two is four, plus three is seven. Minus one for Idis is six. Uh, I guess I have a shield. So five. Regrets. Okay, in order to get a 14, like, I'm probably going to spend three energy. I want to do as much as possible here. Oh, are you serious? Oh, my word. Oh, are you serious right now? <laughs> That's so bad. Four damage. I'll take two from here, two from here. His next attack is a one, two, three, four, five, six. Minus two for stuff is four. Oh, jeepers. I'm gonna throw my ice hack at him because he's weak to ice. So it's 3d6 plus three. I don't have the energy to spend on this. What? This is really bad. Seven with Idis. Down to three. Oh man. Is this all I got? Since I threw my axe at him, can I use my bow now? Oh, you have, another, you have another weapon to replace. I guess. Well, whatever. He has three and he deals me. That's a miss. That's really good. Okay. I can do one energy to try to take that out. Oh, nice. I did it. Uh, I'm using my bow now, so that means my shield is off the side. Gee, that was tough. Okay, one loot. Oh, I'll use this right away, actually. And I'll drink the flask too. 
because I should fill it up at the campsite. All right. The false idol. Hmm. I can ignore it and move up on the morality track. I've never gotten really high on this track. I really want to try it. Cost me one health. The altar, okay. I'm gonna probably take the energy because I really need it. The, the blessing would be nice, but it is what it is. Arrow trap. I probably will take it because I have the dodging thing. That would be one, but I gain one last poison, so I'm fine. I'll fight this. Undead archer. Okay. Seven hit points. Can I do this once per dungeon level? Uh, maybe I should wait on that. I should probably spend two energy on this. This is getting tight. Oh dear. Oh, actually rolled well. Okay, I killed him. I'll take the loot. Lamp. Once per dungeon level, you may reveal both dungeon cards and choose one. I may as well use that right now. Just use it right away. Take full advantage. I guess I'll choose the treasure. The merchant, here we go. I want to sell my shield, I think. But before I do, I'm going to take a look at what he has for sale. Yep, don't want that. Explorer's map. Lose one less ration in the labyrinth. Magic ring. Once per dungeon level, you may avoid an ambush. That's pretty nice. Two potions. Holy water. I'll, I'll trade him the shield for the ring and buy the holy waters. Or two. Okay, last room. It's a skirmish. Or I could take the second card. Hmm. Should I take the second card instead of the skirmish? <sighs> Clearing. This is probably the end of the game. Yep, because I'll have two, four, six, seven. 9, 10. The Madman. It's mine! All mine! Finally, I have it again. A shadowy figure in the clearing whispers while holding an object wrapped in cloth. I can I ask him about it or leave him alone? Hmm. Gaining two energy would be nice. But I have four three potions that I can use to attack the boss, so. Hmm. Uh, I'll pass. All right, that is it. We, um, we get an energy. That's pretty nice. I can take a skill, an agility skill if I wanted to.
Probably won't. It's boss time. Okay, the boss in this adventure pack is the Fire Elemental. He's weak to ice, and I forgot about that, and I already spent my ice potion. If he deals eight or more damage, he destroys anything worn on your body. Oh, I guess my ring, but don't need the ring. All right, and I guess he gives you money for defeating him. I didn't really realize that is a thing. Anyway. Here we go, boss. 24 is the maximum. Okay, if he deals... Uh, all right. So I get a my free arrow shot, right? So a d6. Wow, I got five right off the bat. That's amazing. All right. So my attack will be, or his, his first attack will be a miss. Whoa. Do bosses miss? I'm pretty sure they miss. I feel like checking. I think they're just like normal enemies. Yeah, they're just like any other enemy. Okay. So he misses. Um, I don't have a lot of energy. I feel like the... Uh, actually, if I just go ahead and drink the antidote to get rid of the poison, and then 2d6 plus 5 is pretty good. So I'll go with that. That plus five is a lifesaver. Oh, never mind, that's only against undead. <laughs> Three. Uh, does this count as an attack? Plus one damage to the sum of your attacks, I guess. So I deal four. Yay. Now his attack. Five minus two is three. Plus four is seven. Minus one. Six. I'm doomed. Two more, two more here. I guess. Eight damage with Idis puts this at four. I have seven left. He attacks, Fire Elemental attacks me for uh, one, five, five. I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't have any way to come back from that. Well, I guess I just reduces it by one, but I'm still dead. That, that's it. That's Iron Helm. I usually lose. I think last time I either cheated or I was very lucky, or maybe the fanny pack dude is just really strong. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed watching me play this game and die. Have a great day.